Alfentanil is another reasonably common drug used in anaesthetics, and it's worth being aware of its key differences to fentanyl. Like fentanyl, it's also a synthetic phenylpiperidine derivative, and it's an agonist at mu opioid receptors. However, it's 10 times less potent than fentanyl, which means one milligram of morphine would equate to about 100 micrograms of alfentanil. In the anaesthetic room, you'll generally find it's presented in two mil vials at 500 micrograms per mil. Once again, we'll go through the pharmacokinetics of alfentanil and how these relate to its useful properties for anaesthetic practice. As we've discussed in the fentanyl video, speed of opioid onset is generally related to the fraction of it that is unionized. And that's defined by the pKa of the agent and of course, the physiological pH of 7.4. Alfentanil has a lower pKa than fentanyl of 6.5 and so 90% of it is unionized at physiological pH. And that means its onset is even faster than fentanyl, with peak onset in one to two minutes of injection. Alfentanil is much less lipid soluble than fentanyl and so has a much smaller volume of distribution. So even though the volume of plasma that is cleared of alfentanil per unit time is less than fentanyl's, alfentanil is eliminated from the body twice as fast as fentanyl and so has an even shorter duration of action. Like fentanyl, ALF is metabolized to inactive metabolites in the liver, which are then excreted renally. We've already seen in the fentanyl video that the duration of action of an opioid is largely dependent on either its redistribution or its elimination. And as we've just seen, alfentanil does not undergo a significant amount of redistribution, so its short duration of action is largely due to elimination in the form of hepatic metabolism. And that's your whistle-stop tour of alfentanil.